think, I think that would look really cool. I don't know if uh, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you so you can you can make the call on that. But I, I think that would be a really cool, uh, just a really neat. Yeah, Papa Doom, it's good to see you. Uh, I, I was back in Saskatchewan. I went to uh, Papa Doom. His brother was getting married. Uh, just hanging out with Papa Doom's family back home. Uh, it was a really nice time. So I had a really good, uh, good time hanging out with him the folks but uh, yeah I think this is going to look really cool Max um, and you don't see these bridges very much as opposed to like a hardtail um, kind of standard bridge this is really cool so if you're okay I'm going with this one and then it'll have two black humbuckers we're going with um, uh, a 59 and a JB yeah, I saw Papa Doom. I saw all of Papa Doom's offspring, everybody. I saw Papa Doom's mother, his brother, his sister. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, locking tuners. Sorry? Yeah. I, I have really nice hip shot locking tuners. Um, Don't worry. And these are really cool. I think, are these the black ones? Yes. Let me show you these ones, uh, Max. I really like these ones. So these are locking tuners. And they, they have an open gear on them. I think that just looks really cool. So they have like the brass, the brass open gear, which I think will look really nice but yeah these are are considered very very high-end um, locking tuners so it'll be good and the great thing um, I'm going with a, a a JB and a 59 custom in humbuckers and the JB and 59 are just so versatile everyone loves them from jazz players to metal guys they're just one of the most versatile uh, sets that you can get as far as humbuckers. So I think that that would be, is a, is a really good way to go. And I'm kind of excited to hear how they sound in a semi-hollow maple. So that should give it some really nice resonance, really good sustain. So uh, I'm really excited about hearing this guitar when it's done. So, and then we're doing ebony, ebony fingerboard and uh, flame maple neck. And what else? I think that's, that should be good. Um, Max, should I do Jumbo frets or just regular regular frets? What do you think uh, Mike would like? I know a lot of people like jumbos these days. I can do either or. It's going to be a really, really nice build. And you guys haven't even seen Max's build yet. I'm getting to that next. I have everything I... I have to start um, start Max's, or Mike's, this is for Mike. We'll just call it Mike's build and Max's build. This one I'm ready to go on, so I'm just going to start on that because everything's ready to go. And then um, I will be designing and working on Max's build. You guys will see that one very soon. I have um, the, the top wood, and oh, I have, I got the neck wood too. Let me show you that. I'll show you all the things I got. Okay. Jumbo with Mother of Pearl crosses on the fretboard. Okay. Mother of Pearl inlays on the ebony will look classy. So this, this one, this, 
is this is going to be for Max's build. So I think that's that's everything. Um, oh, Max, uh, any preference on radius of the fingerboard? Yeah, I'm. I didn't know you were going to be able to catch this. Uh, I was going to let you know when I was going to start on your stuff, but it makes it way easier to like just be like interact and be like, hey, let me show you what I what I got going. 